When I decided to do a video on manly activities that boost testosterone, I never thought I'd be talking about the Haka, a ceremonial Maori war dance. So let me tell you how I came across this testosterone boosting gem. I was researching the manly activity of watching sports and came across an abstract for a study on how watching specific types of video clips before doing squats significantly improved their 3 rep max. Unfortunately, I didn't have access to the complete study, so I couldn't find out what these clips were of specifically. But one of them was considered to be aggressive. I wanted to know what they watched that made them stronger. From here, I found a full study that looked at aggression and testosterone in men exposed to aggressive video stimulus. The test subjects were shown a 4 minute silent video of the New Zealand rugby team performing haka plus rugby tackles. This increased both testosterone and aggression levels in the viewers. Now, I'm not saying you should watch haka and rugby tackles before your next workout to improve your performance. But what this does show is there's a strong mental connection with testosterone and increasing it when it's needed. Another time we see this is when we experience our favorite sports team winning. Our testosterone spikes. Winning or even identifying with the winning team is hormonally positive. Unfortunately, the reverse is true if our team loses, our T levels go down. So how can we use this winning sensation to have us feeling better than Charlie Sheen. Winning. The best way to do this is to combine our competitive drive with another manly testosterone boosty activity and that's weight training. Resistance training has temporary and permanent effects on our testosterone. We add in the positive power of winning by making our workouts goal based. Anyone who trains regularly to build muscle or get stronger and has a properly set up program will have a goal based workout as every training session will have both short and long term goals and you feel a rush, what a rush when reaching one of those milestones you've been striving for. The way it works is before you start an exercise you have a goal number of repetitions to reach. Often it's one more than last time. When you achieve this small win, savor it. A long term goal might be to add 10 or 20 pounds to your bench or squat. These take longer to reach. But the bigger the goal, the more substantial the feeling is. Essentially, you're competing with yourself and the weights. Interestingly enough, not all activities boost testosterone by the same amount. They tested the testosterone levels of the Saman people of Bolivia before and after an hour of wood chopping and found a 46.8% increase in testosterone and age had no effect on this increase. This was 17% higher than the change caused by playing soccer. These increases in testosterone help us to do more work or as we saw in the first study, improve our performance in the gym. The best way to permanently enhance our T levels is to improve our body composition. This is done in two parts. First by losing excess body fat and secondly by increasing your muscle mass. Part of the muscle building process is recovery and a vital component is sleep. A good night's sleep not only allows us to build more muscle, but allows us to have optimal T during the day, with research finding sleeping less than 5 hours a night lowers your daytime levels by 10 to 15%, compared to those who spend 8 to 10 hours in bed. So if you don't think of sleep as a manly activity, now's a good time to start. For some, being able to fall asleep at night isn't that easy, and that brings me to my next activity. Although I hesitate to call it manly because women like it too, and that's sex. One study showed men who participated in sex had a testosterone boost of 61% above those who only watched the activity. According to the Sleep Foundation, sex helps us fall asleep by releasing hormones like oxytocin and prolactin that induce pleasant and relaxing feelings. It also reduces cortisol which is connected with stress. If you want to know how to put together a complete testosterone boosting workout, Watch this video next and keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.